Triumph's Bonneville family needs no introduction now, does it? If you wanted a retro-themed motorcycle, you had the Street Twin, the T120, or even the hardcore Truxtunar. But what if the T120 was a little too laid back, or the Truxtunar a bit too extreme? Well, Triumph has an answer for you. That's the new Street Twin. That's what we are riding here in Mallorca. So, what's new about the Speed Twin? Quite a lot, actually. You may think that Tram simply rehashed the Thruxton to create the Speed Twin, but that's not entirely the case. A majority of the focus during development was to ensure the Speed Twin weighs less than the Thruxton, and the difference is a significant 10 kgs overall. The frame, to begin with, is bespoke with the new subframe and lightweight aluminum down tubes that form the cradle contributing to the weight savings. Then there's the 1200cc parallel twin engine that's 2.5 kgs lighter than the Thruxton's. This was achieved by using a magnesium cam cover, lightened engine covers and revised clutch assembly. Incorporating a lightweight battery is another kilo or two saved and all of this fat trimming contributes to the way the motorcycle behaves. But you can't really get on the bike before you soak in the way it looks now, can you? No matter what angle you look at the Speed Twin, it arrests you with its overflowing charm. And then there's the attention to detail that catches your eye. The headlamp has a neatly integrated DRL. The brushed aluminium fenders and throttle body covers look fabulous, while the chunky tank with hand-painted pinstripes occupies pride of place in the entire scheme of things. In keeping with the retro theme of the Speed Twin, Tram chose a beautifully detailed, analog digital twin pod instrument cluster instead of a TFP screen that you see these days. In all, the Speed Twin's design oozes charm and certainly won't lose its sheen even after a few years. The ergonomics are quite comfortable. The wide handbar and the new bench seat creates a riding position that's almost upright, while the foot pegs, though rare set, aren't as far back as the Thruxton's. The 1200cc liquid-cooled parallel twin engine is identical to the Thruxtunar's motor and is in the same high-power state of tune. It produces identical power and torque as well. But that's where the similarities end. The Speed Twin's lightweight crankshaft and revised clutch assembly gives it a delightful, free-revving nature. But more than that, what really impresses is the truck load of torque that the engine produces from the word go. On some of the tight and twisty sections of Mallorca's beautiful canyon roads, I found myself in a gear higher than what I thought, with the bike pulling away without any hesitation. This tidal wave of torque makes riding the Speed Twin quite easy and stress-free. Power delivery is smooth and linear, and when you give it the beans, the Speed Twin charges ahead relentlessly, in a manner that can get addictive. In terms of electronics, the Speed Twin has switchable traction control and pre riding modes, rain, road and sport to keep things from getting out of hand. Switching between these modes alters the throttle map and the level of traction control intervention as well as ABS settings. Now we did encounter a little rain during the ride, but the smooth laid back power delivery in rain mode turned out to be more than a blessing in such conditions. That said, the ride by wire throttle felt snatchy in sport mode and the transition between throttle on and off could have been smoother. But the big question is, is it as fun to ride as the Thruxton? In a word, yes. And this minus the pain of a committed cafe racer position. The Speed Twin employs new 41mm diameter KYB non-adjustable cartridge forks at the front and twin preload adjustable shocks at the rear. Riding over a handful of bumps that we encountered revealed a firm setup with adequate damping to iron out most of the rough stuff. The rake angle, at 22.8 degrees, is sharp, but in order to ensure stability, the wheelbase has been extended by 15mm over the thrusts. What this entire setup does is induce a degree of handling that you'd not usually expect from a retro-themed motorcycle. Think, and the speed twin dips into corners, 
while the standard Pirelli Diablo Rosso 3 tires offer high levels of grip and feedback, allowing you to carry a fair clip through the bends. The bike simply begs you to push hard, and on Mayoka's sweeping corners, the speed twin was an absolute tweet. The axially mounted 4 piston Brembo brakes offer superb stopping power, and there's plenty of feedback through the adjustable alloy lever, helping the rider modulate brake pressure. Oh, it's been an absolutely fantastic day today riding the new Triumph Speed Twin. I'm just blown away by the way this motorcycle rides and handles. Usually you think of retro motorcycles to be slow or not that great when chucking in a corner, but this thing here is amazing. I love the way it looks. The fit and finish is excellent. The engine is a gem. I love the way it produces a stock right from the bottom end all the way to the top and the power delivery is just amazing. So whether it's the street or canyon carving on a Sunday, this motorcycle here brings a lot of promise and I really, really like it. The key for Triumph India is going to be the pricing and we'll have to see what they come up with. But purely judging by the way the Speed Twin feels like to ride, I think Triumph definitely has a winner in this thoroughly enjoyable motorcycle. Mm.